So I am now at Hanoi Pho, this is the name of the restaurant here. I've done a bit of research, I did a bit of research on Vietnamese restaurants here in Kuala Lumpur. There aren't that many really. There was a Vietnamese place on Jalan Alor, but it was pretty, it was alright, it was alright. But I know, I know, this is like 100% genuine traditional Vietnamese food. I mean, look, this is just inviting already, right? How can you not go in? <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to just keep walking past this place. Snails, beef, noodles, prawns, pho, of course, bun cha. It's got everything in there, basically. The menu looks spectacular. All right, let's head in. I'm properly starving. So yeah, it's just lunchtime now. I mean, they literally just opened and oh, thank God, they've got the air con on in here. Two of them. So, where should I sit? I'm gonna choose here. Welcome. Oh, look at this, look at this. Just a traditional pho, beef pho. Um, they've got wine, I think that's, yeah, wine. Um, wine pho bar, which I've never ever seen before. Bank one, oh, this stuff is amazing. It's like a steamed rice cake with moon mushroom and pork topped with deep fried shallots. Literally one of my favorite dishes of all time. Bunok, which is the snails. Buncha, I'm gonna have to get that. There's just no way that I'm not gonna eat that today. Deep fried noodles, stir fried noodles, sorry. Noodles with seafood, noodles with beef. Clay pot char siu, more beef and more noodles and more vegetables. You've even got just like marinated prawns. It's like sweet and sour prawns there. Beef stew with wine. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. They even have this, like smoked pork leg, which I miss so, so much. Just like a few slices of that bang me proper Vietnamese bread. I'm not sure whether they have it here. I don't know, I didn't see it on the menu. It's probably the only thing I don't have is bang me. Oh well, there's plenty here. Even the stewed chicken with herbs, yeah? The black chicken they've got here. Tofu with lemongrass, grilled prawns, just beans with garlic, bamboo dishes, loads of different snail dishes. I mean, I can tell you which ones these are. <laughs> we don't have them in England. And Vietnam coffee. I can't just get one dish here though, can I? Like, I have to, I have to get a selection. So, uh, I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to go for the farm. Check that out. Bun cha. The bang corn. And, there is an and. I wanna try this as well. I wanna try the pork leg. Um, maybe some snails, you know, yeah. Just a snail dish would be good. We'll, uh, we'll get that first, see how I feel, see if I can get anything else. They've even got the proper Vietnamese sweet chilli sauce as well, which is a perfect, perfect pairing with this. Now I've just asked if I can film again in the kitchen, they, they don't want to, I don't, I don't understand really. Um, but, oh well. <laughs> so again, me just ordering and eating. I don't care, I, I get to eat Vietnamese food today, so I am extremely happy. <sighs> love it. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. You've got the condensed milk in the bottom there. It's literal like standard here. Um, but yeah, I don't stir it all in. Uh, I just give it like one little like And then ice of course, we have chad out here. So try while waiting for the coffee. So good. Pho bò hà nội. Oh, this is this bánh cuốn nhé. Yeah, bánh cuốn nào? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bún chả. <laughs> You're probably thinking, stop it, Dad, stop it. Just exaggerating. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm genuinely that excited about eating this food. Right, right, that was like 
probably the quickest, like, impatient thumbnail taking that I've ever, ever done. I was just like, bah, 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 whatever, okay, 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 okay. So I'm still waiting for the coffee. I'll have to come back to that, but I need to, where's the chopsticks? Oh, the chopsticks are over there. I need to try this beef and the far noodle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have had pho a couple of times since being in Vietnam, but it wasn't. This is real pho noodle, okay? It really is. Um, yeah, it's just not the same if it's not this, basically. Mmm. -hmm. Wow, it's amazing. Mmm, look at that. It's so rare. Oh, God. It's so rare. Take two. Look at the colour of that. God. The few slices of onion and just um, spring onion as well. Grimy. Oh, my word. That's bloody delicious. Some lime. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, the snails. I forgot about the snails. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Snail. Oh. <laughs> that is how impatient I was. Hungry and desperate for this food. I completely forgot about the snails. So I'll take another from now. I think I will. So I drank a lot of the soup already. So he's topping me up. Come on. Thank you. Legend. I was thinking about asking. I didn't need to. Okay, I mean this this just looks absolutely spectacular. Um, the broth of this is amazing. It's just like perfect. It's perfect, as good as any bowl I've had in Hanoi, basically. In fact, I feel like I am back in Hanoi right now. Like it's just Vietnamese writing everywhere. It feels like I'm in Vietnam again. <laughs> Beef is great. Really, really nice. I mean, what I miss about Vietnam as well. It's the only country that gives you like a basket of herbs like this. It's like mint. Um, I think that's like a type of basil, Vietnamese basil. But look at this bun cha. Look at that. Look at this. And the snails as well. There's a snail. It's just lemongrass snails. Oh, I'm going to try this now. I have to try it. Right. Look at that. Just fried lemongrass. Mmm, chunky garlic, pepper, no, damn good, I mean, snails aren't for everyone, but I bloody love them, like, they're chewy, but I like the chewiness, yeah, it would be weird if they were tender, snail, lemongrass, pepper, garlic, see if I can do that, there we go, all there, all there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh, there's more. Thank you. There's more. <laughs> I can't even bother taking it. Oh, that's wasabi soy, yeah? Wow, I've never seen that before. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to do another thumbnail, I can't be bothered. The table's just getting too full now. That's a lot, I asked him for like two slices of it as well, but he's given me like 20, 20 slices. Oh, uh, is there any more coming? I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure, to be honest. Oh well. Right, let's get into here. Chili. Oil. Got straight into that far. I'm not even going to stir it up that much. Just going to like get a spoon right from the top here. Yes. Get that garlic and chili in as well. I'm very, very, very happy that I found this place. Like I said, there aren't many Vietnamese restaurants here, but this is awesome. That's how I go. Chili, soy, garlic. Mm. I've never had this before with Vietnamese food, wasabi and soy sauce. I thought this was just like 
standard for Japanese cuisine, right? But you gave these together, so going to gonna put that with that. Mmm. Mmm. That's different. Oh god, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Whew. I think this is good just by itself, you know. I've forgotten about my coffee. That is a lot in there. Put a lot of coffee with this. A little, just a little mix up. Wow. Right. What next? Yes, barbecued meat marinated in just tons and tons of garlic i think let's try this first ah. mm. get that wood noodle dip it in the in the dipping sauce I don't know what to say. I don't think I'll say anything. It's like black pepper inside of there. It's sort of like Vietnamese luncheon meat, but it's actually made fully with real meat. Like, it doesn't have this weird mushy processed texture to it. Yeah, it's damn good. Mm. Yeah, the back to the bone chow. Yeah. That's really, really good. The meat, it's very, very tender. It's so easy to just, it just falls apart in your mouth basically because the huge fat content in there. And I am not complaining about that. You need fat with bone chow, okay? Yeah, no, no, no. And the mango, we've got a marinated mango and tower. I'm pretty sure it's mango. I think so. I think I've tried everything, right? It was a real rush, this vlog, like. Not because I need to, because I had to. I was just like, it's all amazing, guys. It's all amazing, seriously. But the last dish now is the bank one, which is the steamed rice cake. I think I've got two there by accident. Oh well. Mm. Mm. I love this stuff. It's another very simple dish from Vietnam. But incredibly difficult to do, to cook, to master. Okay? It's just moon mushroom rice and a bit of pork, and then just, just fried shallots on the top. That's it, okay? I just love the simplicity of it. It was one of the most popular and most famous dishes in Vietnam. Love it. I think this stuff is called Zar, I think. It's more of a, a mushy, um, meat. They kind of mush it and then they put it into like a metal cylinder, they leave it for like a few days to set in the fridge and then just like slice it up. Um, always good with bang meat and this actually, this sweet chilli sauce, I'm going to put some on there. Oh, oh well. Mm. I'm going to mix this together, why not? The bang bong and a piece of the bun cha meat. Oh good, go back to the snow. Look at it, look at it, look at it though. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> kind of starting to get a little bit full now.
Okay, I have ordered way too much food here. I didn't realize that the portions would be so big, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, the bun chow is fine, that's like one portion, but yeah, the, the bank one, like, there's enough for like two, three people there, and this as well, like, <laughs> this is a sharing platter of meat, you know. <sighs> so, yeah, getting kind of full, but I'm in no rush, I'm just gonna chill, take my time. This is Dan versus food, so it's all good, okay. Um, yeah, I just had to get another. Another tin, I think I'm going to need another one, a, a third. Mm. Yeah. I can't stop drinking this prop. start to wrap this video up now I think um, I'm extremely extremely full but this food is goddamn amazing okay I'm not sure how to rate this rank it but that fur broth oh, seriously seriously good um, the buncha the meat and um, the, the meatball and the slices of the chard like pork as well and just not even the snails really but just even the lemongrass in this snail dish is genius like it's just properly caramelized lemongrass like it's insane it's it's so damn delicious all right so i'll put all the details about this restaurant in the description of the video if you are in kuala lumpur and you want vietnamese food like you really should come here you've got to come here this place is awesome thank you guys delicious no 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 thank you so much for watching everyone and i'll be seeing you soon peace out